All right, this week in indoor football, we got a lot of things. Well, not a lot of things. It's some things that need to get on over and talk about to end a a, a not 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 necessarily a a great weekend, considering how light it was for the most part. Um, most games were staggered on Saturday. There was just one game on Friday. There were only six games. You know, on Saturday, and every game just ended. So, um, let, let's let's go over some things, and let's start with the ADAFL, the Adult Developmental Arena Football League, that league that has you know recruited teams from other leagues like the Alabama Empire. Their season will start on August the 13th um, with a doubleheader. I'm not, I believe, the Knoxville Nightmare. It's another one of those teams that they are actually playing in that doubleheader. In the EIF, found out that the Southern Steam beat the Atlanta Furious. It was it was only like 22 to 20 or whatever, and they will play the Peach State Cats in the EIF championship game on July 8th at Columbus at the Columbus Lions Arena out there in Columbus, Georgia. Second year in a row that they've had an actual arena for a championship. I don't know how the EIF continues to do this, but they got it. Um, in the AFA, you know, got it. We got we got to talk about this real quick here too. Announced a few days ago. I didn't find this out until tonight because I realized I needed some more things to say uh, about things. But instead of a playoff. Instead of, you know, that championship game that was supposed to be on a carrier ship, that's not happening anymore. Instead, the AFA has announced the AFA Cup between Magnolia, Magnolia State, and Wichita. And, it, and they claim it's more like a bowl game. And, you know, it, this, this game will take place in Wichita on July 9th. And North Texas, uh, you know... They got kicked out of the league. West Texas, I thought they were going to host the winner of this game. But no, the AFA has said, no, this is our only postseason game. So that kind of defeats the purpose of establishing a league that you don't play an actual playoff. Uh, and then you got the Texas Jets and the Rio Grande Valley Dorados, both teams either don't exist or pretend to act like they exist, but they really don't exist. So it's just been a disaster all around for the AFA. It's rather unfortunate that things have to end this way um, for this for this league in its first season. Because I mean, this this league claimed to be you know another league that was just legit, and unfortunately, kind of like the APFL, it fell flat on its face in the first week of the season. It's disappointing. All right, let's get to the big stuff. The IFL first. Um, Massachusetts, they have a playoff spot clinched. Um, they don't have a uh, home playoff game wrapped up yet because they lost to Iowa tonight. And that, that loss to Iowa gave Frisco home field through the first two rounds of the playoffs. So there you go. So... Frisco, the road to Vegas in the Eastern Conference, which is still weird to say, goes through Frisco. Tucson also clinched a playoff spot, but it's actually through, you know, like tiebreakers and stuff like that. They already had clinched, but to put the cherry on top, they did beat, you know, they did beat a good old team this week, you know, by the name of, uh, you know, San Diego Strike Force. That San Diego Strike Force. Yeah. Don't worry. At least you're not as bad as Bay Area. Bay Area is that terrible. Vegas is still in it. Duke City is still in it. With those final two spots, or rather for that final spot in the West. But you know, it is what it is. The East still up for grabs right now. And in the NAL. Carolina's clinched a playoff spot. 
Orlando is more than likely out. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say um, this week. And we'll be going over all these championships because there's a lot of championships next weekend. So, come back. Um, come back Sunday night next week. And I'll talk to you all again this week, you know, for another week of indoor football nonsense. Until then, see you soon.